Hi, I'm Jen from House One, and today I'm showing how to make an entryway organizer. Today I'm building a wall hung organizer with a mirror, shelves for storage, and hooks for coats to keep our most used items close at hand when we're walking out the door. For this project, you need a piece of hardboard, two 1x2s, a 1x4, a 1x10 board, and about six feet of lattice molding. The assembly of today's project is really easy. I'm just using glue and nails. And I can do that because I'm gonna be layering all of my boards onto a hardboard backer to give it strength. Now, because of the size of my mirror, I did have to purchase a full four by eight sheet of hardboard. But I had the guys at the home center rip it down for me so it was easier to transport. And it's still slightly larger than what I need so that I can trim it to its final size here in the shop. To determine the final width of the backer board, place a one by two on either side of the mirror and mark their collective width. To determine the height of the backer board, first cut the horizontal one by 10 and one by two pieces to length. Stack them above and below the mirror and then mark their collective height. Now you can visit the House One channel on thisoldhouse.com to download a full cut list for this project. But I do recommend following the step I just mentioned where I used the boards to determine the size of the backer. And I do this because stock lumber can vary pretty widely in width, and you wanna make sure that this backer is sized correctly since it's gonna be the guide for the rest of the assembly. Cut the final width and height of the backer board using a circular saw. To learn how to make the DIY straight edge I'm using here, check out my video on House One that shows everything you need to know about cutting straight lines with a circular saw. Now to assemble the frame, lay out the pieces, applying glue beneath each board, clamping it in place, and then flipping the parts to nail through the backer board and into the one by board with 5 8 inch nails. For good measure, I left the clamps on and set the assembly aside to dry while I worked on creating the brackets. To cut the custom brackets, print and cut out my templates on the House One channel of thisoldhouse.com. Trace their outline on a section of the leftover one by 10 board. Position so that their back edge runs along the edge of the board and their height aligns with the direction of the grain. Cut the section and double up the one by 10, securing it with screws so that you can cut all four brackets at one time. Using a jigsaw, cut the brackets, using smooth motions to create the curves. Sand the curves smooth using a sanding block or sandpaper wrapped around something round, like a section of PVC pipe. To assemble the shelf, glue and nail the two smaller brackets equal distance from the ends of the one by four board. Glue and nail the face board onto the front edge of the brackets. Finish by attaching the large brackets to the ends of the assembly with glue and nails. Now position the shelf face down. Apply glue to its back edges and then place the frame onto the shelf, flush with its bottom edge. Mark the location of the shelf and brackets and then nail through the backer and into the pieces to hold them in place. To hang the organizer, I'm going to be using a metal French cleat, but it's going to push the assembly out away from the wall, so I'm going to be using the trim along the sides and top of the frame to hide the gap. To do this, apply glue to the side of the frame, hold the lattice trim flush with the bottom edge, and then use the thick end of a shim to position the trim one quarter inch proud of the backer board. Nail through the trim and into the frame to hold the piece in place, and then repeat on the remaining side. In the same way, apply glue to the top edge of the frame and then place the 1x4 cap flush with the back edge of the trim and centered on the width of the frame to create a 3 quarters inch overhang on each end. After sanding the entire assembly, spot seal knots and grain with a spray primer before lightly sanding and applying two coats of paint. Using a drill driver, install the hardware centered on the width of each cubby and then add the double hooks below. Install one part of the French cleat flush with the underside of the cap. As you can see, the second part will slide into the angled edge, holding the organizer tightly against the wall. It's now time to add the mirror to the frame, but don't just reach for any adhesive. A lot of adhesives can burn or damage the backing on a mirror, so you're going to want to grab a construction adhesive that is specifically rated for mirrors, and apply it in a zigzag pattern across the opening. Press the mirror into place and let the adhesive dry before raising the frame upright. Mount the mirror on the wall and enjoy the convenience this new organizer brings to your entryway. 
I hope you enjoyed this project. For more easy woodworking and DIY projects, visit the House One channel on thisoldhouse.com. I'm Jen Largis, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.